Today I'm going to be upgrading my throttle body on my 2010 Cadillac CTSV and upgrade it from a Nick Williams 102 millimeter black throttle body here that's been on the car. And I'm going to upgrade it to the Nick Williams 103 millimeter, also black throttle body. So I uh, did a opening unboxing of this throttle body. It comes with the throttle by itself and the four screws needed. Aside from that, that's it. There's no uh, special instructions or anything like that. So that's what comes in the box. And I'm gonna be changing out with this one. Uh, when you research them, the Nick Williams 102, the regular one, sometimes has issues on boosted applications. So they upgraded from a Nick Williams 102 regular to a boosted Nick Williams 102. And if you research the difference, they change out the throttle body motor and some of the internal mechanisms here. So when you look at the pictures, the boosted one, the nub only comes out about half as far as the regular one that they first came out with. So from my research, I believe that I've got a Nick Williams 102, I guess first generation, if you want to call it that, or normally that's called a Nick Williams 102 NA naturally aspirated so I'll be putting on that Nick Williams 103 I'm also going to be paying attention to as you can see it's really really tight between the 2.5 upper and this throttle body it doesn't seem to actually hit but I think it does collect a little bit of dust and maybe even a little belt material or something like that because it's so tight and I've got 9.5 lower so it's about 16 pounds of boost. So I've already got the negative battery cable undone in the trunk, which is a 10 millimeter. Just took that off already. Left my trunk and everything open. So it's easy to get to everything with the power off. And next thing I'm going to remove the DDP intake. Uh, just remove that intake uh, tube and start getting at the throttle body bolts themselves all right just a little update now I have removed the DDP cover that goes right here it's held in by two Allen's right here and then a 10 millimeter over here so I removed that off took off that top plate so I could just relax the DDP uh, intake up and out of the way of the throttle body then there is a total of four allens in the throttle body kind of hard to see with everything in the way two up top two down below another one over here so i'm going to remove those and then disconnect the electrical here All right, so working forward in this project, this uh, Nick Williams 102 millimeter throttle body was held on with black RTV uh, silicone gasket maker, which is why I'm gonna use. And let me tell you, it really holds on. I was able to grab that throttle body and literally rock the whole car back and forth. It did not want to let go. So I took off a um, couple things here to make some room so I didn't hit nothing. And then I used a rubber hammer and just my screwdriver. And I put my screwdriver right in here. Right in here, there was a good spot just to gently work it down. And it took some taps, but you don't have to hit just, you know, as hard as you possibly can. But it definitely took some taps, and I even tried putting a little heat on it with a heat gun. I know it's rated for 650 degrees, but I figured if I could even just get it to warm up a little bit, maybe it would come loose a little bit. So I don't know if that really helped as much as just getting the right 
uh, point to hit it at. So I hit it there and then I was able to pull it loose and get it right off. So once it breaks loose, then it lets loose. But until then, that thing is holding on. Let me tell you, that thing is holding on very tight. All right, so the throttle body, the old Nick Williams 102 is off. Put my hose back on, went ahead and put a hose clamp on there, put that back on. Got the whole surface of it all clean. I use a combination of just a wire brush real lightly, you know, good old fingernails, and then also just some real light uh, steel wool just to clean it up, clean up the surface, then wiped it down with breaking parts cleaner. So now it's ready for the RTV and the new throttle body. But for a minute, we'll compare the two. So here's the old throttle body that came off. I wiped it up a little bit, cleaned it up. So between it and the 103, you'll find a couple differences. First off, uh, the motor's way different. This motor is much more compact and uh, looks way different on the 103 versus the Nick Williams 102, which should help give me some more space next to my two and a half mil, uh, two and a half inch upper blower pulley. And then aside from that, on the top of the throttle body, this is pretty much perfectly smooth. There isn't really any hump to it at all on the top. On the 102, might be a little hard to see, but there is a hump right here in this straw body. Just a small one. So I don't know exactly how they get the extra, extra millimeter, which is probably hard to tell anyways. I laid this one gently up against the face of this one. And from the outside, you can't tell any difference in the one millimeter bigger between this one and this one. So I'll flip them over so you can see the backs. So here's the 102. I got to finish removing the RTV. This 102 will be for sale as well. I'm going to go ahead and sell it. Let somebody with a naturally aspirated application use it. Here's the 103. So, not too much else to say about them, really. It's mostly the motor difference, and aside from that, that difference in that ridge up there I noticed. So, here's the bolt holes bolt hole there, down there, there, there. So that's it. That's the difference between the two. All right, the new Nick Williams 103 millimeter throttle body is on looking real good on there as you can see many people i've seen even online ask about clearance so i have a two and a half inch pulley and you can see that is the amount of clearance that i've got now and as you saw in the beginning of the uh, video like I don't even think there was a nail width away with the 102 millimeter versus this one. So a lot more room next to your blower pulley on this one. All four Allens are tightened. It's a uh, number five metric is the Allen. Then now we'll, uh, I'll be hooking up my throttle hookup, which I already tested before I put it on just to make sure. On the RTV, I use this Loctite 598 
black silicone gasket maker. I'm pretty sure that's about what was on the other one. And the uh, says that it's outstanding oil resistance. It works up to 625 degrees. So should be more than up to the task. So that's why I used for that. So time to hook it up and finish buttoning everything up. All right, so as you can see, I've got the throttle body on, the new Nick Williams 103, DDP intake is uh, back in place and situated, everything back installed. So here's what I did for the, I guess you call it like the relearn procedure. What I did was after everything was back together, I put the negative battery cable back on, and then after that, I let that black RTV set for a few hours. It says it sits up in one hour, cures in 24. So I gave it probably a good three hours or so before I even cranked up the car. And I turned the key forward and let it sit with the key forward in the on position, but not running for three minutes. After it sat there for three minutes, I then... Uh, push the key forward the rest of the way to go ahead and crank it up and then I let it idle for about another three to five coming from the Nick Williams 102 it never idled high it never really acted weird if anything the entire time it just felt more smooth to me and I've taken it for a couple drives now and just took it on one easy drive didn't get on it crazy or anything then took it for another drive. I got on it a little bit harder that time. And it hasn't acted weird, hasn't thrown any codes, hasn't done any of that. Um, basically, it's just driven nice and smooth, really. Uh, haven't done anything as far as retuning or anything like that on it so far. So, which everything should be really, really close since, I mean, it's only one millimeter difference and there's not a massive difference, so. So, so far, so good, and uh, that's that's what I did with it. So, I'm uh, I'm happy with it so far. It's uh, it's a bit of money. I paid uh, seven hundred and fifteen dollars plus the appropriate taxes and shipping from Texas Speed. So, but if it doesn't give me any issues like the Nick Williams one hundred two millimeter non boosted throttle body did also known as like the na throttle body now i suppose if it doesn't give me any issues then i guess it's well worth the money so i'm selling the other one to uh try to recoup some of the investment but uh sometimes you gotta pay to play you know so and i was again lucky to have found a black one since black just goes with uh most of what i've got going on i figured a polished one would look a little bit more out of place not bad but maybe out of place and again i have that 2.5 upper and nine and a half lower and if you can see there is a lot more clearance now in here than there was with the other one you maybe could have fit a fingernail between the 102 non-boosted and this one so it looks a little tighter there. You can see the room better really from above. So, so that's it. Hope, hope that the uh, video is informative and helps, helps you all out. Uh, if you like it, please, if you don't mind, give me a thumbs up and uh, maybe even subscribe and I'll try to bring more videos along as I do more mods. Thank y'all.